Hi, this is Will Harvey of Finale Inventory. I'm going to give a quick demonstration here of creating invoices for uh, sales orders or for shipments of the sales order. Invoices for sales orders, of course, are going to begin with a sales order. So I'm going to begin on this home page uh, by clicking New Sale to create a new sale order. The blue button on the left here just picks a default order ID for this sale. Okay, you may have seen this in another video. This is a home page here for the sales order that I'm creating. I'm going to pick my customer and then I'm ready to go picking my items. I'm just going to type in blueberry pie here to add a blueberry pie to my order and I'm going to secondly add a boysenberry pie to my order. Notice the boysenberry pie here is showing up in red. That's because I don't have uh, any boysenberry pie in stock here. I could still make the order but I'm going to have difficulty shipping it. Okay, so I've created the sales order. Now if I wanted to generate an invoice directly from the sales order, I can do that. I just click on the green button here, Add Invoice to Sale. We flip to a new tab, which is now an invoice based on the sales order that we just constructed. You'll recognize the blueberry pie and the boysenberry pie here for $10.50 and $9.75. Never mind the fact that we can't actually ship the boysenberry pie because we don't have it in stock, we created the invoice. If I went to the Actions menu, Print Invoice, I get a nice PDF that I could send to my customer. Well, some kinds of companies create invoices based on the sales orders. Other kinds of companies create invoices based on the shipments when they actually ship something out to the customer. So we can do that too. Let's say that we went to ship this order with a plan to create an invoice after we shipped it. To ship the order, I click on the Shipments tab. I update the shipment to match the order. I run into the problem that down here in red it's pointing out that I don't actually have a boysenberry pie to ship to this customer. So I'm going to make this a partial shipment and adjust it by removing the boysenberry pie so we only have a blueberry pie. Make sense? Okay. Now I'll ship this shipment. Picking today as the ship date. Okay. Having created this shipment based on the sales order, but only for the items that I had in stock, I can create an invoice based only on this shipment as opposed to being based on the whole sales order. Scrolling over here to the Actions menu again, Add Invoice to Shipment creates an invoice. Notice though this invoice, although it looks a lot like the sales order, is crucially missing a line. It's missing the boysenberry pie because we didn't ship it. So this is an invoice based on the shipment, not based on the sales order. I can go to the Actions menu, Print Invoice, and I get something to send to the customer. In this scenario, I would probably create another shipment when my back order of blueberry pies was supplied to me by my baker or my supplier. And then after creating that second shipment, I would create another invoice for the boysenberry pie that is represented by that shipment. The process that I would do there is just the same process that I did. You just saw me create an invoice for the order and an invoice for a shipment, so I'm sure on your own you'd be able to create an invoice for the second shipment as well.